The topic has come up and we've discussed it, but we haven't um, made any decisions yet about whether to move the meetings or not.
we did receive those today, and the results of that are that that school is all clear. We tested that and we're ready for that school to be open. We're expecting the other results to come back. We're still in the process of doing the testing for the other fountains. And to your other component of that question about the proactive on the additional fountains that were close, that's in the works, but we haven't addressed those at this point. Anticipating doing that you know, throughout the summer. Thank you. A follow-up to that would be, uh, do you have a certain level that you're going to look at all the faucets above 10 or above 5? Is there a, a threshold that's been decided? At this point, this has not been determined exactly where it is. Okay. And then the, the last questions are dealing with the, uh, uh, the blood tests. Why don't we want to public schools pay for blood tests for the children who might have been poisoned? test anybody um, and stick children with a needle, um, I would like anybody to come forth to us that their children demonstrate um, symptoms of uh, lead poisoning and if they have seen their pediatrician and if their pediatrician feels that they need to be tested. Um, that's just from my point of view that I just think that it would be better for their pediatrician to recommend the testing. And if it's in great numbers that children are complaining of the symptoms, and they're pretty generalized symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Um, you know, I would think before we stick any child with a needle, these are kind of the basic symptoms for everything. When in doubt, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. So I would just like to see if the pediatrician feels that the child should be tested, and I think it's something that we need to take under advisement. But at this point, right now, I don't think we should go ahead with that. But if it changes, then it was something that this board would discuss. Thank you. Thank you for your answer and for your medical perspective. Um, I have some questions about the resolutions. I, I assume I should mention those now uh, during this public comment. That's correct. There won't be an opportunity to ask about them. So I wanted to uh, ask about the light speed lead filter. Is this uh, uh, the, um, basically the uh, way of filtering out certain websites? What's the number of the? Uh, it's the letter O. O? Oh. Yes. O. Oh. Yes, it, it is the web filter and other components of it, but uh, in general terms, yes, it is part of our internet safety security protection. Thank you. And follow up to that, can you tell me, is the uh, New Brunswick Today .com website filtered out uh, from all of uh, staff and student access here to the public schools? I don't know. Okay. Um, I believe I've heard that it is, and I think if it is, it should be. Excuse me? I said it, it that's is. Not, that's not uh, on point. What's your next question? I'm sorry, am I, am I allowed What is to, your next question? Am I allowed to express my opinions here? Uh, no. No? You asked so the question. So members of the public are not allowed to You're express opinions You're not members of the public. You're here as a journalist. I'm sorry, I'm not a member of the public? Do I, do I, uh, do I do Do you have a question? Account? Do you have a question? Yeah, my question is, am I allowed to express opinions here? You just said no. I think you might want to check how the law works. Can you check the law policy? Are, 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 are members of the public allowed to speak at these meetings? Or is there some prohibition against uh, journalists from uh, having, having the opportunity to address the elected officials of this community? Look, uh, you're either public uh, commenting on the agenda, one or the other. And if you're a journalist, your opinion should be in an editorial, not an article. So why don't you just ask questions or move on, please? Okay. I will not allow my speech to be restricted. I'm an American citizen. Oh, okay. 
and I am here to express my opinion that news sources, legitimate news sources, should not be banned or censored from the computers in your district. These are paid for with taxpayer funds. The members of your staff should have a right to read what's on your budget today, and so should the students. And I think that uh, taking any other position would be un-American. Uh, the next thing I want to ask about is the uh, annex, the Penn Jersey Environmental Consulting Resolution R. Can you tell me uh, why is uh, the district finding another environmental consulting company at this point? Did you already have one for that site? Mr. Modelche will respond to that. Thank you. Penn Jersey's on board and been on board as this project's been continuing. At this point, we have dirt that's been excavated tied to the foundations in the enclosure of the breezeway. At this point, now that that all construction is done, the remaining dirt, we know what that quantity is, and this is primarily to remove the dirt and have that managed through Penn Jersey, who again has been on this project from the beginning. So this is the removal of the remaining dirt and the oversight per EPA guidelines to get that dirt off the site. Thank you. Can you tell me what type of contamination is present in the dirt? It was historic fill, low level. Again, this is uh, similar to other dirt in the district. And uh, again, it's being remediated off-site as it's been done for the first project. Thank you. The last one I want to ask about is the last resolution on your agenda, the uh, uh, contract for assistant superintendent of human resources. I just wanted to ask, is this uh, uh, a promotion for Ms. McCoy, or is this the same title she's had since she came here? I thought it was a different title. It is a different title because additional duties have been assigned. Okay. And, uh, so, that, so that resulted in a change in title. Thank you. Does that also result in a change in salary? Additional duties would call for increased compensation. So there is a, a salary. Can you tell me the new salary? No. That was a no. Mr. General. Mr. General. I can answer that question. Um, being that the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, all these contracts are sent to and approved by the Executive County Superintendent, this was a raise of $5,000 above her current salary. But that, you have to keep in mind that that $5,000 would be contain any raise that she would receive in that previous title. Uh, once we are done negotiating our contract with the union. So it's really not a $5,000 raise because I would tell you most of that raise she would have received anyway in the uh, previous title. Thank you for the thorough answers. Uh, that's my last question. I just want to end by saying uh, that I, I think the board is doing something very good. If that's what I think is going on over there, that there's now uh, an opportunity for folks to get live translation. Is that, is that correct? Yes. Well, that's, I think, a wonderful step in the right direction. I think this board can go a long way towards being more transparent, and I hope that you will uh, do that as we move forward. And, and a very simple way to do that is to uh, record these meetings and televise them. There's a lot of good things going on in this district, and I think the board should showcase those things. And uh, televising this meeting is not something to be afraid of. It's something that is a step into the 21st century. Thank you very much. Are there other comments, questions? If not, we will request a motion to move the consent agenda. Mr. General.
reading a motion to accept the finance report. Thank you. 